Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Over the past few months, I've had an overwhelming number of requests to draw the late Triple X Tentacion. So here it is, I hope you enjoy. Let's get started in the center of our page with the eyes. So we move to the left side and draw on the upper eyelid. We're gonna draw a curve. From the outside, we're gonna go up and then pull it back down on the inside. Let's leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right. So we're gonna line up the inside of the eyelid. We're gonna curve up and then back down on the outside. Now we're gonna tuck the eyes in underneath the eyelid. So it's a half circle. Starting from the left, we're gonna leave a little overlap. So we step in, curve down towards the bottom of the eye, and then we're gonna pull that up, leaving an overlap on the inside. Do the same thing on the right. On the top left of each eye, I'm gonna draw a small half circle for a highlight. So start in the top corner, and curve down, and then back up. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Let's go in and fill the eyes in black. We're gonna add a little bit of an eye wrinkle on the inside. Start from the inside edge of the left eye, we're gonna curve down and then out. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving down and then out. Now we're gonna move up and draw on the eyebrow. Start from the corner of the eye on the left, we're gonna step up and draw that same curve. We're gonna go up and then pull that down on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now on the inside of the eyebrow, we're gonna draw two short lines coming up Now let's close off the top of the eyebrow. Starting from the inside, we're gonna curve across and just taper down towards the outside. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the left, but we're gonna add a couple notches along the way. So start on the inside, we're gonna draw that curve going across. Now right at the top, we're gonna to add a long V, coming down towards the bottom and then back up. Let's continue that curve with a short line. We'll draw one more notch, coming down and then up and then we'll close off with the side. Let's go in and fill the eyebrows in black. Now we're gonna move in towards the middle and draw on the tip of the nose. So we're gonna draw a U shape, starting from the left, curve down in the middle, and then back up. Now we're gonna move up and draw a short curve going in the opposite direction for the bridge of the nose. Let's add two hash lines along the side of the nose. Starting on the left, draw one angle line coming down. We'll step down and draw that same line. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Now let's move down and draw on the mouth. Starting on the left side, we're gonna draw a curve, going up and down on the right. Now we're gonna step down and draw on the curve in the opposite direction for the lower lip. Curving down and then up. Now we're gonna move out and draw on the side of the head. Starting from the left eye, we're gonna step out, start by coming straight down and curving in underneath the mouth. Now we're gonna work our way back up towards the right side. Now on the right side of the face, we're gonna add a small heart. Starting from the center, we're gonna curve around and then back in towards the middle. Go back to the top and curve in the opposite direction. Now we're gonna split this in half. From the center, we're gonna angle down, go back out with a straight line, and then come down towards the tip of the heart. Now we're gonna accentuate the cheekbones. Starting on the left, we're gonna curve in and then down. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Starting underneath the heart, curve in and then down. Now we're gonna move back up and draw on the side of the head. Starting from the left, we're gonna curve this out a little and then we're just gonna pull that in towards the top. Let's do the same thing on the right. Bumping up the side of the head. And I'm just gonna bring that up to the same height as we have on the left. Now we're gonna add the hair coming over the forehead. Starting from this point, I'm gonna step up, 
curve over the side of the head and then down just on top of the left eyebrow. Let's do the same thing on the right. Stepping up, curving over that line, and then down. Let's round out the bottom, curve down and up. Do the same thing on the right side. Now back on the left, we're going to follow that same curve going up. Going up to right about there. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna overlap a second set of hair. Starting from this point, we're gonna step up, curve over that line, and we're just gonna pull that in just above the left eyebrow. Do the same thing on the right. Stepping up, curving over that line, and just pulling that in. Let's round out the bottom of the hair, curving down and up. Now back on the side, we're gonna follow that same curve going up in towards the middle. So going out, and then pulling that up towards the top. Now we're gonna to go to the top, curve out towards the right, and then down towards the bottom. Now at the top here, we're gonna add the edge of the hairline. Starting from the left, we're gonna curve across and down. We'll fill this area in black. Let's add that tattoo, that tree in the center of the forehead. Starting up here, we're gonna start with a straight line coming down. We're gonna add a dot just below it. Let's go back to the top. I'm going to curve up and out towards the left. Go back to the center. We're going to curve up and out towards the right. Now we're going to step down about halfway. We're going to curve up and out towards the left again, then out towards the right. Now along the top of this curve, we're going to angle up and out with a straight line on both sides. Go to the bottom and do the same thing. And then from the inside of the line, we're just going to angle out towards the sides. Now at the top, we're going to add a short line coming down the middle. Now we're going to move to the side and draw on the ears. Above the cheek, we're going to step up, curve up, round out the ear, and then pull that in towards the side of the cheek. Do the same thing on the right. Curving up, rounding out the ear, and then pulling that in. Let's draw the inside of the ear. Starting at the top of the cheek, we're going to curve up, and then out. Now we're going to layer the hair on the side of the head. Just above the ear on the left, we're going to step up. On the side of the head, we're going to curve down and up. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to follow the curve of the head coming up towards the top. So we start on the left, we're going to follow that curve of the head coming up. And we'll just pull that into right about there. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving up. And then in. Now at the top of this point, we're going to step up. Start with a point. From this point, I want to curve up and around the side of the head. We'll go around the side of the hair. And we're going to stop right about there. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the center, we'll curve up, around the side of the head, and then down. Now I'm just going to pull this in towards the side of the head, curving down and then in. Then we're going to add a band along the top of the head. Starting from the left, we're going to curve up and then down. Let's fill that in black. Now we're gonna add the hair coming up and out. Starting from the center, we're gonna curve up and out towards the left. Go back to the center, we're gonna curve up and out towards the right. Now let's round at the end. Rounding this out on both sides. Now we're gonna follow that same curve coming back in behind the strap. Now we're gonna add another set of hair. About halfway down this curve, curve out and over towards the left, and then the right. Again, we're going to round out the ends. Now from here, we're going to curve in and then down, in behind that strap. Now I'm going to add one more hair along the center. Starting on the inside edge of the left hair, we'll go up and then bend this over towards the right. Round out the end. Now we'll follow that same curve coming in and then down. Now we're just going to simplify the tattoos on the face. Starting on the side of the eyebrow, just on top, we're going to draw three dots going up in an angle. Now along the bottom edge of the eye, we'll draw three dots coming down in an angle. Okay, so we completed the head. Let's work our way down the body. I'm going to start with the collar first. Starting on the left side of the head, 
curve down the middle, and then back up on the right side. I'm gonna add some texture to this color. Starting from the left, we're gonna draw a straight line coming down, leave an even space gap. We're gonna repeat this all the way across towards the right side. Now let's draw on the side of the body. Starting underneath the collar on the left, we're gonna curve out, and then down towards the left hip. Go to the right, curve out in the opposite direction, down towards the right hip. Now we draw the bottom of the jacket. Starting from the left, we're gonna curve down and in to right about there on both sides. And then from here, we're gonna go straight up underneath the collar. Let's add in the collar of the jacket. Starting from the top corner, we're gonna taper this, curving down and in. We'll do the same thing on the right side. And I just wanna split this area in half. So in between these two lines, curve up and out towards the top. Let's add two buttons on the left side. Add one circle along the top, and then one along the bottom. Now we're gonna add in the bottom of the shirt. In between these two points, we're gonna step up, and curve down and then back up. Let's continue working down the legs. In the center, we're gonna step down, draw a curve from left to right, going up and then back down. Leaving a gap in the center, we're gonna go to the left side, curve out and down towards the left heel, and then out and down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. From heel to toe, we're gonna curve down and up towards the toe on both sides. And then from the toe, we're gonna draw on the top of the foot. We're gonna curve up, and we're gonna round this out, aiming towards the heel, we'll stop right about there. We're gonna curve in the opposite direction, towards the inside of the leg. Do the same thing on the right. Curving up towards the top of the foot, aiming towards the heel, and then we'll round this out and go back up. Now we're gonna thicken up the sole. Taking this curve, we're gonna step up, just follow that same curve going across on both sides. Now we're gonna move up and draw on the side of the leg. From the corner of the jacket, I'm gonna step in, I'm gonna curve out, round out the leg, and pull that in towards the top of the foot. And then along the side, we're gonna add the pocket. From the side of the hip, we're gonna step in, curve down, and then out. Now let's move up and draw on the arms. About halfway down the side of the body, right here we're gonna curve out, down towards the wrist and do the same thing on the right side. Now back on the left side, let's start with the thumb. Start with a small half circle and then at the end of the thumb, we'll draw a bracket. At the bottom of the thumb, we're gonna curve down and up around the bracket. We're gonna step down, draw on the second finger, curving down and up. Now the third finger is gonna start out here, we're gonna curve out and then in behind the top of the collar. Rounding it out and pulling that up. Do the same thing on the right. Start with the thumb, and then a bracket. At the bottom of the thumb, we're gonna curve down and up around the bracket. Step down, curve down and up again. Now the third finger, we're gonna go all the way around, pull that up towards the top corner of the collar. Now back on the left side, from the inside of the wrist, we're gonna curve down and then up. Let's do the same thing on the right side. We're gonna draw that curve two more times up above. Starting from the inside, just leave an even space gap going across. And we'll do the same thing on the right. And that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's Triple X Tentacion. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.